Hey guys, so this fragrance, I'm kind of on edge about it because I don't know what to think about it. It's so mysterious in a way. Is it autumny? Is it fresh? Is it spicy? Is it both? This one is the Jo Malone Vetiver and Golden Vanilla Fragrance from their Cologne collection. It's definitely unique and perfectly unisex. The Vetiver and Golden Vanilla is considered an aromatic vanilla as well as a warm, spicy and woody fragrance that is perfect for autumn or even winter. I personally think that it's more of like a night fragrance than a day fragrance because of the warmth and the spiciness that there is in this fragrance. There's a lot of depth, warmth, like I said, and the cold weather definitely enhances the fragrance by itself. I feel like if you're wearing it in hot weather, it's gonna be very overwhelming, especially if you like more feminine fragrances. It is a very, very, long-lasting fragrance, but it's super simple with very few notes in it. Only five, only five notes, which is crazy. And I feel like this one is pretty concentrated compared to the other Jo Malone fragrances. This is part of the Cologne collection, so obviously it will be stronger than the regular collection. And on clothes, it just lasts eternally. It's it's crazy. You just need like two push, push, and you're good to go. The opening. Okay, oh my God. This one is very intense. When you're spraying it the first time on your clothes, on yourself, on your skin, in the air, it is very, very masculine and it has a lot of punch in it. Which to me, the vetiver literally hits you in the nose right away. And the cardamom that's in it and the grapefruit just makes it very, very masculine and stays there on you for a very long time. It's so intense, so spicy. And again, it lasts super, super long. I feel like depending where you're wearing it, what's the weather that you're wearing it in, the golden vanilla definitely comes in gradually and adds a depth of gourmet in it to really balance out this very masculine and spiciness of this fragrance and that's why it is unisex because the golden vanilla brings that femininity in it and that sexiness in the perfume. To me the first time that I was wearing it and trying it out it was kind of weird on my skin and on myself. I wasn't sure about the fragrance but then I let it kind of settle and the golden vanilla is just so yummy in a way. And when I'm wearing it on my chest area, I feel like I smell the golden vanilla more, but if I wear it on my wrists, for example, it's gonna be a little bit too much of vetiver, especially if it is directly on my skin. On the clothes, the golden vanilla comes out more than if it was truly on my skin. So the notes, as I said before, so you have vetiver, which is crazy. <laughs> You have cardamom, grapefruit, golden vanilla, and you have also tea in it, which I'm not too sure if I smell it that much. I guess it is really to balance out all of the other notes to bring a little depth into the fragrance, which I don't really smell it that much, to be honest. So it's there, it's there somewhere, but we don't smell it that much. And as I said, I am very conflicted and on edge about this fragrance in particular because I don't know what to think about it. Some days I love the fragrance and some days I absolutely hate it. And I feel like you need to be in a specific mood to be wearing this fragrance. I think that is why it was really so popular when it first came out and now it kind of died down, unfortunately. Um, and it's not very that popular anymore because of the uniqueness of this perfume and that... It's not truly masculine and it's not truly feminine in a way. So it's kind of like sitting right then and there in the middle. It felt so hard behind. And on top of this, Jo Malone fragrances are just so expensive. So if it's a weird and unique fragrance and on top of this, it's expensive, people are not gonna buy it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this, I got it because it was in a kit. I'm glad that I tried it because I can definitely, you know, mix it with other fragrances to kind of change the scent of it and make it more feminine with lighter fragrances from Jo Malone and it would just work perfectly because this is a very deep and spicy base to put with a lighter fresh fragrance. I love that it's long lasting, don't get me wrong. I love a good strong and long lasting fragrance but this one is just, the vetiver in there is crazy in my nose especially when it's on my skin and it's it's one of those fragrances that doesn't blend I feel like very well with me because I can smell it 24 7 if it's on me and sometimes it could can be a little bit annoying if it's 
too much. You know, there's a balance that we need in the fragrances that we wear. And it just overpowers the other note at times. I would say that someone that loves, absolutely loves vetiver or vetiver. I don't know how you say it. Tell me down below how you say it because I honestly don't know. Um, and that swears by it and that loves vanilla and that likes a unique fragrance. I feel like that would be the fragrance for you, but this is not a safe buy at all. If I was just going to buy something, you know, out of pocket like this, I don't think I would be buying this fragrance just because of the nature of it. It's, it's definitely not for everyone, let me tell you, because this one is definitely unique. But yeah, Vetiver to me is something that is so strong. I'm not sure about it. I Like I said, I like it, but I don't at the same time. So this one, if I was going to say like more 50% of the time, it would be a no-no for me. And like the vanilla smells incredibly delicious, but the Vetiver is just breaking it apart for me. And if the Vetiver was in there, the cardamom was there and the other ingredients, I feel like it would be an amazing perfume, but the Vetiver might be ruining it for me. So I don't recommend this one. If you want to try it, I recommend going in a store, Nordstrom, Sephora, wherever they sell Jo Malone and to spray it on you and testing out before buying it because it's truly expensive. Let me tell you, like it's expensive and it depends which size you're buying too. <laughs> so um, yeah, so crazy. Packaging, fire as always, love the black bottle, very neutral. You can place it anywhere in your house and it's gonna enhance the decoration in it. So that's the only thing good about it. Like, but that's... The, the juice in there is too expensive for me to be doing this all the time. You know what I mean? <laughs> I have to actually wear it. All right, so that is it for today's review. It is a really simple and tiny video. So if you liked it, make sure to like the video, comment down below, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel for some content every single week on the beauty lifestyle reviews and a whole lot more. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye, guys.